This is the RCA LED TV mainboard. The firmware is on the SPI chip on here, and let's program it with Ulink NT. This is the connection connect to Ulink NT and SPI flash. Make sure the 2.5 volt is applied as power. First, let's select target. The flash is 2532, uh, which is 4 megabyte flash. So we do not necessarily need to create a new target. It just select one of them. Here it has the 25L32, which has the correct file size. So once we select it, then we can detect it. Okay, I forgot the power on. So let's detect. So you see, we cannot detect the flash, uh, which has the three values, C84018. And let's open the data sheet here and search for C8. So you see the C840 and 16 matches here. So we need to create the XML for this flash. There are two ways to create flash here. One is through the tools here. Uh, SPI flash, but I think people want to understand how we can create one, which is very, very simple if you have a, a text editor. So let's go here, go to the configure folder. And then we say this is the SPI flash. I want to edit it. And SPI flash has um, a very similar architecture. So we can copy from any of the existing 32. So like this one, we can just copy here and from the flash to the end, let's say, and three value here is C84016. So C8 10 C8140, sorry, 4016. And the name for it will be GD25. Um, let's see, GD25Q32B. So Q32B. And the size is 4 meg, and that's it. So let's save it and then restart the USB JTAG NT software. I have restarted the uh, software and let's detect it. So we can see this is detected and we also see some extra data so the status byte here. If we were not able to erase it uh, and program it, we need to look at those data. However, I found something interesting in this chip. Even with those data here, I'm still able to erase and flash it. So as always, backup, backup, backup. So read this back. And we have a good data here. So let's save it. Say call, uh, let's say new folder, LCD TV. And we save RCA TV backup. Okay, let's try to see we can, if we can erase or not. So let's erase it. If uh, you can. If it gets stuck or get really fast, then probably it's not erased. But in here, I, I initialize the data here and verify if it's erased or not. Yeah, looks like it is. So now let's put it back here. And this is the original data. If you find uh, a TV is bad and you need to reprogram or you can download a new firmware, this is when you can program it. And just click the button here. It will do the erase again. Don't worry about it. I found some interest in those chips from China is really, really fast to program. So let's compare it.
So in this video, we have uh, um, select the target and we create a new flash type and we find some interesting thing with this chip, even though the status is not empty and it still looks like protected, but we were able to program and you see our flash uh, status is not changed. So still the same as before.